Mike Brelsert. It's uh, Saturday, October 9th. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, I've got a bowl turning I want to do today. It's a pecan salad bowl. Um, it's one that had a lot of inclusions on it and, and other kinds of uh, defects. And uh, with all the epoxy I've been doing lately, I always had a little left over, so I've been uh, I've been filling it up with whatever I had, just because I wanted to see what how it would do. But you can see I got a bark inclusion here, and and there was cracks here and here. Um, but uh, I'm going to clean it up and see what we can come up with. Let's get let's get on it. So I'm just trying to get out some of the uh, excess epoxy that was on there and I want to just get this thing round again and make the tenon round again so I can get it put into my chuck. Okay, I got it uh, smoothed off on the bottom, got the tenon squared up on the bottom nice and smooth, so now I can move it on to the, the regular chuck. So let me do that. Okay, I got the bowl turned around in the chuck. I'm going to finish cleaning up the outside, then I'm going to start working on the interior.
Okay, so th I've taken this bowl off the chuck because it has got some beautiful figure in here, and yet some of the voids didn't get fully filled with epoxy. So I'm going to try to fill them some more with some, I'm going to use some of my five minute epoxy and get, get them into these areas, and hopefully by the end of today I'll be able to finish this bowl. But I don't want to rush it too, too much because this bowl looks like it's going to be pretty nice, pretty beautiful. And I want to make sure it get I can finish it up right. So let's get started on the epoxy. I tell you what, the last several days the army's been killing it. They have been shooting all the time, day and night. Thankfully, I can sleep through it, so I don't much doesn't much bother me. But boy, they've been doing a lot of shooting. So I'm back in on my pecan and epoxy uh, salad bowl. So I'm gonna scrape this out. I've got epoxy settled in there and uh, then I'm gonna work on the outside. Let's get going. I'm just about there on the inside where I want to be and I think it's uh, I think I'll sand a little actually I'm going to do a little bit more work on the rim I think I want to have this an angled in rim and uh, let's do that now grain was so all over the place on this one it may this this uh this is probably gonna be some very challenging sanding so let me get on it and i'll get back to you when i get close to being done on this okay so i got the inside sanded to uh 60 grit and got all the the tool marks out now i'm gonna i have to turn the outside get it uh nice and flat or set up and then i'm gonna the heck can stand that as well.
Oh, I like using that. That goes way faster. Takes those tool marks out very quickly. Fill up a few more things with some black CA glue. And then I'll hit it again with the angle grinder. Then I'll sand. I'm going to continue on with the sanding now inside the bowl and out and uh, then I will uh, I'll come back to you when I'm at 400 all right so I'm back I do believe I'm going to use some Yorkshire grit on this one try to polish it up as much as I can with that okay let's get this turned around in the cold jaws we'll be right back okay time to remove the tenon time just to start sanding the bottom and uh, after a bit I will put my brand on it and we'll get it finished.
done. Let's get this off the cold drawers and take a look. Oh yeah. I'm pleased. This piece had a whole lot of figure to it. That's why I want, thought it was worth saving. But boy, oh boy, it uh, it it really it really put it me to the test. There was a lot of stuff to do on here, I mean, epoxy and black CA glue and everything else that I've done here. But uh, I'm I'm happy with the results. So, yeah. And pecan. I'm supposed to be getting a whole bunch more of it coming up in a in a couple of weeks, and I'll I'll tell you more of that when it's about to happen. At any rate, again, as always, thank you for watching, and please go to my website, check it out, uh, www.brailsrwww.com. Uh, take a look at the stuff I have there. I'm going to try to expand it as much as I can, uh, showing all my latest stuff. I'm also on Etsy, Brailsford Woodworks. I'm on Instagram, Brailsford Woodworks, and Facebook, Brailsford Woodworks. Please uh, take a look. Please click that like or subscribe and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>